The Mariana Trench is located in the western Pacific Ocean, near the islands of the same name. There is no deeper, more mysterious and hard-to-reach place on the world map than the well-known and most surveyed Oceanic Deepwater Mariana Trench, which is considered the lowest and deepest point of our planet. The Mariana Islands are part of the state of Guam and part of Micronesia. On the opposite side of the trench are New Guinea, Japan, and the Philippines, in a semicircle. Geographic coordinates are 11 degrees 21 n latitude and 142 degrees 12 e longitude. The depth of the trough, otherwise known as Challenger Abyss or Womb of Gaia, is 11,022 m. For comparison, the highest mountain peak Everest is 8,848 m above sea level, on the border between Nepal and China. Depth, width, and length of the Mariana Trench. What is currently known about the deepest depression in the Pacific Ocean the depth is about 11,022 m. The width of the trough is 70 to 80 kilometers. At the bottom can be from 1.5 to 2 kilometers. Length, 2,926 kilometers. Area, 400,000 square kilometer. The relief is mainly mountainous, but there are also flat areas. The pressure at the bottom is 108.6 MPA, which exceeds the norm of 1100 ATM. Population, there are living organisms in all deep layers of the trough. Temperature at the bottom of the trough. At the bottom of the abyss, where the sun's rays never reach, the plus temperature is 1 to 4 degrees. This is due to the presence of hydrothermal vents, called black smokers. At 1.6 kilometers level, they warm the water of the depression with shots of hot jets. The water temperature reaches up to 450 degrees Celsius, but powerful pressure prevents it from boiling. Life in the space of the deep hollow is also supported supported by the high mineral content. The inhabitants of the Mariana Trench. There have been several dives in the history of the trough. Despite the little studied fauna in the trough, it has become known to be inhabited by a variety of animals and bacteria. At the 6,000 to 11,022 kilometers level, there are barophilic bacteria, xenophyophores, foraminifera of the protozoan class, multicellular, holotheria, isopod crayfish, polychaetes, amphipods, gastropods and bivalves, echinoderms, fish and octopuses of gigantic proportions, ocean life unknown to science. There is no direct evidence of monsters or alien civilizations in the trench, but there are many unexplained facts. Some species of deep-sea mollusks are much larger than their normal counterparts. For example, Xenophyophores, giant amoebas measuring 10 centimeters, ordinary ones are hard to see under a microscope. Foraminifera, a member of the protozoan family, have a semi-liquid body and a shell. Mollusks have learned to convert the sulfur compounds secreted by black smokers into protein. The hollow's population is resistant to mercury, lead, uranium, and other deadly chemicals. Some inhabitants of the murky depth have created their own lighting elements to attract prey. Most of the predatory fish of the Mariana Trench are very different from previously known species. They are frankly terrifying. They have intimidating mouths that occupy most of the body and many long, sparse teeth. This structure is justified by ultra-high pressure and helps them survive at great depths. Many of them have spines instead of fins. The jaw of a deep-sea shark at the moment of prey ingestion slides out of its mouth like a drawer from a dresser. But along with the ugly and horrible creatures, there are also small, cute creatures of unique design. The inhabitants of the trough have telescopic or extremely developed visual organs. Some animals have eyes that rotate in all directions. Some of them are completely blind. Their swim overgrown worms, 1.5 meters long without mouth or anus, modified octopus, Octopuses, sea stars never seen before, shapeless two-meter animals with soft bodies. The inhabitants of the hollow feed on remains of biological origin, constantly falling from the upper layers of the ocean 
bacteria, organic detritus organomineral particles. The most striking thing is how the inhabitants of the murky depths endure the supernatural pressure that can flatten metal, turn glass into powder, there are 3 tons per 1 square centimeter. Every 10 m the pressure increases by 1 atm. In 2012, a clam was found that had retained its shell. Before that, it was thought that only boneless and creatures without a shell could live so deeply. Later, an explanation for this phenomenon was found. The internal pressure of deep sea inhabitants corresponds to the pressure in the external environment. In 2002, the Keiko bathyscaphe was used to take soil samples at a depth of 10,900 meters. Research conducted by the Japanese in the trench showed the existence of 13 previously unseen single-celled species. They have existed in the soil for more than a billion years without change. In the 1980s, 449 unknown unicellulars were found in Austria, Sweden, Russia. They belonged to the primitive era, from 540 million to 1 billion years old. The find was compared to ancient organisms found in the womb of Gaia, and a complete match was found. The inhabitants of the trough are amazing. For example, fish of the Apistoproduct family with a transparent skull, fish, soccer, hatchet fish, sea devil, cloak shark, dumbo actopus, jellyfish benthocodon. There is evidence that in prehistoric times there were huge sharks weighing 100 tons, more than 25 m long, and with a mouth of 2 m, huge teeth and bones have been found. Megalatons must have been extinct 2 to 2.5 million years ago. However, the age of the teeth found in the depression are much younger, they are at most 24 tons old. It is possible that giant sharks have survived and continue to live in unreachable depths. The task of studying the oceanic trenches has been greatly facilitated by the creation of automatic man submersibles equipped with cameras. Flora at the bottom of the Mariana Trench. Plants need sunlight for photosynthesis, which does not penetrate deeper than 150 m. Nothing grows at 150 to 200 m or more. More. Mariana Trench. The Mariana Trench on the world map has a crescent shape. Its deepest point is 340 m southwest of the state of Guam. There are 13 major troughs in the Pacific Ocean, from 6,150 m to 1,11022 m deep. These are narrow troughs of the ocean floor very long, enclosing configurations. The unique depression was found by the British in 1870. Three years later, the British ship Challenger surveyed the ocean floor of the trough. Depth measurements showed 8,137 meters. More precise measurements of the Eutroba Gaia were made in 1957. Thanks to the research of the crew of the ship Vityas of the USSR, the first barophilic bacteria were found at a level of over 7 kilometers. Before that, no one believed that life was possible in deep water. The mark of 11,034 m was established. In 1992 the famous ship moored in the center of Kaliningrad and is now a museum exhibit. January 1960 was marked by an important event, the first man descent to the abyss with the help of the Bathyscaphe Triest, built to study the flora and fauna of the trench. It accommodated two men, engineer Jacques Picard of Switzerland and U.S. Navy officer Don Walsh. According to Walsh, the size of the bathyscaphe corresponded to a large refrigerator that could fit two big guys. The depth mark set by the crew was 10,918 m. The bottom of the trough was lined with slimy mud made up of plankton residue and crushed shells anything that falls from above and accumulates over the years. History of the Formation of the Trough On a map of the world in prehistoric times, the Mariana Trench would have looked different. Studies have shown that its topography was formed about 180 million years ago. The folding of the bottom topography is explained by the continuous process of the tectonic plates filling into each other over millions of years. In the summer of 2010, a 
detailed study of the base of the trough was conducted. A multi-beam echo sounder was applied to an area of 400,000 square m, which found more than four mountain ridges of ultimate height of 2.5 kilometers. The folds in the form of mountains and bridges crossed the trench at the section of the oceanic plate crawling under the lighter, continental plate. Dives in the Mariana Trench The Mariana Trench on the world map has long attracted the attention of scientific researchers. Project Necton The development of the submersible began in 1957. At first it was christened Bathyscaphe 11000, then it was renamed Archimedes. But at the initiative of Auguste Picard, famous Swiss scientist, physicist, inventor of Stratostat and Bathyscaphe, father of explorer Jacques Picard, it was decided to modernize the Trieste. In the new gondola explorers could safely descend to greater depths. On the Necton project in 1960, the hydronauts made a series of underwater dives into the Challenger Deep and eventually reached the bottom, marking 10,919 meters a victory, the first time a bathyscaphe manned by a human human had descended to such depths. The dive proceeded as follows. After taking on water ballast at 8.23 Guam, the bathyscaphe plunged to 100 meters. It took 10 minutes. Upon reaching the cold water layer, the vehicle froze. In order to continue the descent, they poured some gasoline. The same thing happened at 130 and 160 m. After 200 minutes, the gasoline shrank in cold. The apparatus continued descending without delay at about 0.9 m slash section. When we reached 7,800 m, we dropped some steel shot. We continued our descent to the bottom at 0.3 meters per second. It was 3.3 degrees Celsius overboard and 4.5 degrees in the gondola. At 1.06 p.m., the explorers informed the ship's crew that they had reached their destination. Jacques Picard and Don Walsh stayed at the bottom of the trench for about 20 minutes and made sure it was inhabited. There were flatfish about 30 centimeters in size size that look like flatfish. During the dive, at a depth of about 5 to 6 kilometers water level, an unknown round-shaped object accompanied Jacques and Walsh's bathyscaphes for several minutes. It is still unknown what it was an underwater vehicle of a highly evolved civilization or an ancient animal. It took 327 minutes to bring the apparatus up. Ballast was dropped within 10 minutes to begin surfacing. Up to 6,000 m depth, the bathyscaphe ascended at a speed of 0.5 meters per second, then the movement accelerated to 0.9 meters per second. At a depth of 3000 m the gasoline expanded again, and the speed increased to 1.5 meters per second. The total time of diving and surfacing was 8 hours and 25 minutes. That's all friends. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe to the channel so as not to miss the release of new videos. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.